Welcome. Hey. Rawr. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized they dressed up as a tiger, which is not a wolf, but it's a little bit. You're right. A tiger is not a wolf. <laughs> it's the same family. Uh, it? No. Yes. Wolves are dogs. They live Tigers in are the cats. nature. They're animals. They live outside, yes. Did okay. you write on your animal death a wolf? No, but that would have been smart. Yeah, I know. I just thought about it. I, I was said like, I bet dog. You did it. <laughs> I said dog and chicken. All right, let's start it. That would shoot. be smart. Why would I do a smart so thing? Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, welcome hi, to- welcome to Ellen Metric of Halloween. Uh, and today is the. I have no idea what day is it. Uh, I am very stressed. I have a lot of things to do. And guess what? I have a surprise for you. Hopefully, if everything would go well and I won't sleep till the end of the month, uh, or I'm gonna have. A horror movie for you that I made because I wrote it and I produce it and I direct it and I don't have a lot of time to do that so it's gonna be very sleepless uh, upcoming night and Matt this is, on is it. this is a horror movie and then I'm gonna recap it that you you force yourself to I say, didn't force myself yeah you said we'll do this by Halloween yeah and it's uh, my project I started it like a while ago and I just started it like a week ago. <laughs> Yeah, a while ago. Today's date the is the idea, 16th. The idea was there. Okay. Today is the 16th. When do they watch yeah, it? Yeah, I'm saying the time of this recording no, what, what? is the 16th. Yeah, but when do they watch They'll it? They'll be watching this at some other time in the future. Not Anytime they want, because that's that how long. podcasts work. We're trying to watch as many things as we can to give you the best thing that you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay all right let's just recap this yeah we only have an yeah, hour I, I didn't see him all day so it's just like yeah also i took the car to do to the oil change it was fine i <laughs> offered to do the oil change on monday and you wouldn't did let you? me no you didn't yes i did i said i'm gonna go take the oil change you go no let's go to peabody i don't trust oh them. yeah i go to peabody i went to mark i talked with him well, this is a segment where we catch up on her day. Yeah, recapping the day other. every day, every where day. Where you try to make me feel guilty every... for something that I offered to do. No, I don't. I don't mind to go to do that. Okay, then why did you say it in a way anyway. like I'm a Dominical lazy guy and they, piece of shit? They, no, I didn't. I just said I told you. Like I forgot to tell you. I went and it's fine. Everything is good. Good, thank Everything you for getting good. They the oil it. changed. And I spent two hours in the BMW lounge, which was pretty fun. Oh, did you have a lot yeah. of snacks I and watched, coffee? <laughs> I had some snacks, and also I watched Friends. And why? Why are you watching Friends so much? It was in the why background. No, it was else? in the background. It was. I was. There was like Seinfeld and then Friends. I actually worked. I didn't actually watch, but it was behind me, and it was funny. Okay. I love Friends. It's my. It's my food. My lunch break watching things all right back to uh, silver bullet is not that's the, we're recapping a movie here concentration well, we're trying to you're trying to talk about oil changes and in, in 90s television I, I didn't see you all day I all right thought that you might care i d- i do care part. we don't have to care on the podcast but... okay start silver bullet that's what we watched yeah it's from 1985 written by stephen king based on a story a novelette as they refer to it Novelet. in the credits as stephen king Basically, what was the name of it? it it was originally called cycle of the werewolf okay. and it's a short book which i have what? never read and uh silver bullet stars Corey haim heartthrob from the Corey Haim and Corey Feldman movies. By the way, this is the 19th. It's not that far from... from. Live. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is three days ago. So you're yeah. already deep into the, production. The, no, no. Yeah, also, I'm, I'm going to be deep in, like, to let's finish... Okay, more let's more. start. We can't finish it unless we start. I don't, I just scratched my nose and feel like I should do cocaine right now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I, I have allergies in, in, school, in Boston. Kids. I'm allergic to Boston. Ah. Okay. Well, this movie was made in 1985. I judged it by the cover, as you did as well. We because we both have a worksheet that says we have to do this. Which is here. I said it looks like an after-school special made in Canada. I think it's Okay. Oh, that's our Hebrew word of the day. That means dingleberries. What is dingleberries? That's the uh, 
balls of toilet paper that get stuck in your ass hair. Dingleberry? You have a name for that? Yeah. You just call it Chatichat Nier Shinitka Batachat. Oh, well, that sounds like uh, something that I a terrorist so, would say know. on a bus. I don't think we have a word for it. No. Yeah. Hey, silver bullet. Yeah, what's your reaction? Five. Okay, <laughs> you don't have reaction? to repeat what I say. I know, I'm, I'm just like trying to catch up with life. Okay. Um, I don't think I like Wolves movies. But I think I like American Wolf in Paris. That's the movie that I watched. I think we talked that about it. That movie is, uh, it's, it presses itself off as a sequel to American Wolf in London, which is which a I great movie, watch. which you've never seen. So Maybe I watched the London one. I, I don't, don't know. don't think you did. I was 10. Maybe, no, less. I was did. seven. I was seven. Okay. I was seven years old and it was fun. But besides, oh, you know what? Watch it. I would. You know, and I never have seen American Werewolf of Paris, but I know it sucks because. Uh, do you know the <laughs> the curse? The curse? Curse? The curse? The curse? I don't know. Is the guy that did the scream? The scream? Scream. I've never heard of the curse. It came out. And in Wes Craven did Scream. Yeah, he, and he's the guy that directed an Emory Elm Street. I mean, he's directed a lot of shitty horror movies. Is the curse scream? one? Scream. Scream and Curse is the same director. Okay. And, and I got... It's the, just called Curse? The Curse, I think. All right. And I got a, I went to watch it in the cinema. And if if you went to watch it in the cinema, I'm the, in the premiere night. So I, I got a... You get a, the DVD of Scream, which I do have <laughs> till... That's weird that, that a movie theater would give you a DVD. Let me show you. Especially like an old Israel movie. Because, you don't have but to But we can't, we can't watch it. Cursed, you mean? Cursed? Yeah, Cursed is from 2004. Uh, I don't know. What? Wow, hey, listen to this. This is the description for the movie Cursed, which she is now showing to this, no, the this screen. No, this is the screen. This is the screen. Look. Oh, okay. And it says on the top, a gift to the watch, the people that watch The Cursed. In Rav Chen, that's the... Wow, and then weird. there's Tzaka, Scream. All right. And I watched it so many times. Because I didn't have cable. So, so I, Cursed I starts off with a, an accident on Mulholland Drive, and a woman is caught in the wreckage. I like that. I don't Much remember Much like the movie Mulholland like Drive. But it's an American-German movie. Werewolf movie directed by Wes Craven and written by Kevin Williamson, who both collaborated in Scream. I watch Cursed. I like both of those guys. I watched it already in the cinema. What year did it come out? Two thousand and five. Two thousand and five. All right, it was fifteen. Well, two thousand four. Two thousand four, right? I said. I mean, it says Cursed two thousand five, and then the first word of the, the first words of the Wikipedia is Cursed is a two thousand four American I German wasn't werewolf. In high school. Werewolf I mean, body high school, horror. I stopped watching movies in cinema. I started to spend my money on drugs. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I started to spend my money on driving to Tel Aviv to do comedy. A lot of drug jokes already. Yeah, it's not funny. I don't do drugs. Well, I don't know why you keep saying that then. All right. So what was your guess for the body count? I do things with drugs today, like jokes. I don't do drugs. Come test me. I don't like drugs. What? Okay. Nothing. There's just an echo in here. I'm high in natural. What is your body count? I am a drug. My body count? They said six. How many were they? There were nine. Nine. My guess was... I counted eight. Why? Was nine. My guess was 11. My guess for the first... So I'm closer? No. no. You said nine. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I, I woke up at seven today. I woke up at six. You won. I did go back to sleep for a few minutes. But... <laughs> for a skill. I guessed six minutes and 21 seconds. I guessed five. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> it was three minutes your, and 30 your seconds. Your seconds never, like, didn't help. No, they didn't. Three minutes and 30 seconds is when the first kill took place. Yeah. Nudity and sex. I said yes. I said no. Ooh. So you I was wrote. right. You, you wrote. It's like right in the past. Uh, bleak. <laughs> Bleak ending. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. I know. I don't know. I'm very funny. I'm after I didn't know a show. what the I hell you were talking show. about. What? I said, I didn't know what the hell you were talking about when you said it. You wrote? Yeah. <laughs> Tzedakta. So, if you, if I'm just to say you were right, I'll just say you wrote. It'll be our new inside joke from now on. <laughs> Shut up.
sure. You wrote. <laughs> he wrote. <laughs> bleak ending. I said no. I said yes. So I was right. Yeah. Yay! It wasn't a bleak ending. It was. It was not. <laughs> Are you arguing with me? I'm still confused with the bleak ending thing. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know All why. All right. Animal death. I said yes, a sheep. <laughs> because wolf eat sheep. Wolf, wolf, sheep. wolf eat sheeps. sheep. Wolves sheep. eat sheep. You just completely... <laughs> you need to work on how to pronounce words. I said yes, dog Are you going to take me for a vacation in November? I think I'm going to lose my November. mind. November. I said yes, October. dog and chicken. Those were my guesses. My vacation... What? Yeah, I'm going to take you to a dog chicken and farm. Chicken? Yeah. Okay. I guess two animals. It was up and up There's the There's one animal that died well, as yeah, a wolf. Yeah, you should. Well, he died as a man. Yeah. But, yeah. No, he died as an animal, and then he turned into a man, and then he was dead. Okay, sure. You can't believe it. All right, what's your, what's your line for the movie box? Only a silver bullet will kill the wolf. <laughs> That's... That's not like how to market a movie. That's just repeating. A th- that's like a Dracula. Only a stake through the heart will kill a Dracula. No, but the name or of the sunlight. movie is Silver Bullet. Yeah. The name of Dracula's movie is not a stick. A stake. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe it's it's about a kid who's on crutches and he just names his crutches the stake. What? This movie is about a kid in a wheelchair who named his wheelchair the Silver Bullet. Did you not notice that when he was flying around in the wheelchair multiple times? So that's why I was making a joke about a Dracula thing. A stake can kill vampires. It's a kid on crutches because crutches are made of wood. And you can what break them crutches? into... crutches? Crutches. When you break your foot and you have to walk around on wooden ah, things under your okay. armpits. Crutches? Yeah. Never heard that. Wow. I used... Would... I'm so curious of, like, so many things that, you, that you don't know, like, what the word is. Yeah, for. I never had to use those words. You never seen someone on crutches? Here? Yeah. In Israel, yes. I know how to say it in Hebrew, kabaim. So but someone... here, I've never had any conversation okay. with someone. All right. No, also, that's what I had to say. say something. You could say something. But surprisingly, in the United States, I don't see a lot of them, but I do see a lot of scooters breaking legs people oh yeah which is come on people like try it's like laziness what the they don't who have see a enough people leg? with crutches because they first of all if it you looks could, easier though it is yeah. and you're not irritating your armpit for like no reason hey the 90s kids survived fine sure hey I'm, I've my brother seen. had ones i was always jealous yeah all right. We well, my line, and we didn't have a werewolf. My line is, the moon is full of blood. Why? Because you explain your yeah, name? because werewolves only come out when the moon is full. Oh, okay. And no, I seriously, got there's one. there's the, like a blood moon, is a okay. thing, and werewolves have a, a thirst for blood. So I like the movie. There it was terrible, go. but I like it. Uh, it wasn't uh, terrible. Yeah, it wasn't a good movie. It, it was an '80s straight up horror movie. It's like a story. I liked Ed very much. What's his name? Everett McGill. That's the that's the actor's name. What's the name of the character? Reverend Low. Low. Reverend Low. Reverend Low. L O W E, like Rob Low, not like Law. How you pronounce Low. Low, it's low. against the low. Low, low, low. low. So we... All it's right. Ed from Twin Peaks. I thought it looks yeah. very good in this movie. Ed from Twin Peaks and Locke from Lost is in this movie. I know you've probably never watched Lost before. No. But um, Gary Busey plays a crazy uncle. Corey Haim is in it. So it's a star-studded I cast. Yeah, because I was busy. Star-studded cast. I Stephen love the King moon wrote in the, the beginning. Script. It looks just like my tattoo. I have a tattoo of the moon. It looks like a planet. It which is just like my tattoo on the leg. Like just like just like it. And well, your tattoo is black. Asking. This moon was white. Yes, but still, it looks just like the full moon. So tell everyone and that you have a have a, a silver a bullet tattoo. <laughs> people, it. Some, people occasionally would ask me why does it symbolize for you. And I like to tell them that it symbolized my stupid decisions that would get stuck with me forever. 
like the rest of my tattoos. Yeah. I like the moon. Makes me feel. Yeah, I like the moon too. I'm glad that. I like talking to the moon. That, uh, on my leg. Um, you like the moon. Israel doesn't like the moon that much. We do. The moon doesn't like us. <laughs> God bless Bereshit. Yeah. All right. So the movie starts off with a, with a moon, <laughs> with a moon and a, a voiceover. It's Jane. And we learn about Jane and her crippled brother, Marty, who has a motorized wheelchair. The movie takes place in 1976. All right. Yeah. So she's Let talking guess, about it. Let me guess. Bank or It's in the. Pe- no, it's in I Oklahoma. Know. That's what I wrote here because before they said you wrote argument with yourself about what city it's in. I wrote, let me guess, Bangor, Maine, when it just started. No. Stephen King loves calling Bangor different names. So she says that there's a a terror comes to the town, and she's talking about the what happened. And it starts off with a drunk train repairman getting on the tracks, and then all of a sudden. A beast comes out of the woods and swats his head the fuck off. And then a, y- a long yawn. <laughs> no, did, so what did you say about the cycle of the werewolf? What mo- what book is it? That's a book called Cycle of the Werewolf. Yeah, but it's, it's in a big book. That no, it's its own book. Okay. And we forgot. It's just to say shorter that. than normal. But we were both wrong about the animal killed but there was an animal killed and we both got it wrong uh you it's a cockroach it's an insect not an animal it's a cockroach a cockroach is an insect not an which animal. is alive Duh, so plants are alive is a, what plants are alive no but, but i'm talking about like Eretzir, like the game that you're playing ah uh, left stop gimel okay all right Let's nobody see, knows gimel. what you're talking it, about they, my israeli fans no Israeli fans are watching. How do you know that? Please, if you're I an know. Israeli fan, I know tell that. Matt. Because you said the people in Israel don't listen spin. to podcasts. So, a drug train repairman gets his head knocked off. It lands on a cockroach, tragically killing it. Okay, oh no, I'm getting my uh, my scenes confused. And then we see a, a local town picnic where Marty and his friend Brady prank Jane by scaring her with a snake from uh, holding it up from a tree into her face, causing her to fall back into a puddle, and then she falls into a puddle again or something. She falls no, she falls down and skins her knee and then falls into a puddle. So she has to go get changed in the woods. She takes off her pantyhose, and then she sees a, a pregnant lady arguing with her denial father. That ain't my baby. Uh-uh, that ain't my baby. You better shut up. It's racist. And then he leaves. You're making fun of your own people. And it's not. They're not my people. Not from Oklahoma. Ooh. And then the, the well, there's no race. No race. The human race. They're all white. <laughs> no, I'm just. So the woman uh, later that night, we see her taking a cocktail of barbiturates. She's about to kill herself, but suicide is a sin, and the werewolf gets her instead. Really makes a mess of her. Yeah, we learned that suicide is a sin only at the end. No. I, like, she says that, but we learned that it's necessary information. I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly, like, I didn't really make a connection but between the werewolf preventing her from killing herself and then. Like, I, th- I don't think the werewolf had any prior knowledge that she was about to kill herself. It was stuck in a house whether someone was going to kill themselves in there. At the end. It's just... Bad timing. You said that. You said what at the end? That she wanted to kill herself. And it's a sin. I don't remember that part. You said that. Alright. Well that God, that God would send her to to hell if she would kill herself. So he he saved her. Maybe there was a part that I dozed off for. There was oh a part that God. I no, there was I a part that so. I dozed off. I don't. Oh, I don't. Yeah, you did. I don't remember the, the yeah, you did. I him, ex- dozed off. him it explaining so anything. It was right before I went to watch SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> we went to see SpongeBob SquarePants the musical. We'll do a recap of that in in, in December. Nah. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll do. Put a picture of me next to you. Yeah. 
I've never watched Wolf's Flock. So he kills her. He kills her viciously, and then it keeps basically people keep dying. They keep going to the the bar where the angry townspeople are drinking with one cop, and they're just criticizing the cop to his face, talking shit all about him. And uh, classic Oklahoma. Yeah. And then Marty, who had to apologize to his sister for... He's so cute. I fell sweet. in love with this little kid. He wheeled into her room in the middle of the night and gave, so sweet. gave her money for a new pair of pantyhose. Oh, my God. But she forgave him. She gave him the change back. She said, I can get him for $1.35 <laughs> down at the drugstore. And then, you know, Marty is a sweet motherfucker. He's he, so sweet. What is that kid? Where did they find him? Uh, he walks his girlfriend Emma home. I mean, he walks her home. He he rolls goes and he rolls next to her. Where did they find her from? He was like a eighties. What else? Did celebrity. He do? He's been in a million movies. What else? Did None do? that you would have heard about because they're from the eighties. But so he was a he was a regular. I've heard about strange eighties heartthrob. <laughs> that that is from two thousand. It's about the eighties though. Yeah, he's dead Ooh. now, so he can't be in any more movies. What? He's dead? The kid is dead. <gasps> yeah. Why didn't you well, tell me that? Don't worry. He died as a man. So. I'm sorry. I didn't what notify man? you. A young man. He grew man. up to become a man. A young man. He died like three years ago. Really? This How? movie came why? out in 1985. How or why? Because yeah, all people die. I don't remember he's how he's not he died. old. <sighs> is it your age? Should be. He's not my age. He's, he's much older than I am. Not much older. This movie came Ten out when older. I was three years old. Okay, so he's. I don't know. Max 10 years older. Maybe, but I think he's older than that. Now I have to look up the obituary of Corey Haim. And how Haim. did he die? I don't remember. That's sad. I like him. Well. It's too late now. Drugs? He died it's in 2010. Hey, I'm in love with you. I don't need him. He died in 1971. He died... He was, Sorry. He was born what? in 1971. Died in 2010. Okay, so he's older than you in 11 years. Yeah. And he was young when he died. I guess so. That's sad. Yeah. Drugs? I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, he's he so shared cute. an apartment in Oakland between with his mother... He was battling breast cancer. and then uh, Him? Yeah. He was breast cancer again? No. He just, I just said he shared an apartment with his mother. Oh. He'd been ill with flu-like symptoms two days before his death. <gasps> and then... Uh, Holy shit! It, they said he, he died due to pneumonia. What is pneumonia? It's... it's it's an inflammatory condition of the lung affecting primarily the small air sacs known as the alveoli, of course. Oh my god, this is so sad. Yeah. It's like the... Who was the guy that died? That a car fell on him? <laughs> Who's the guy that died? One of the... the... Oh yeah, the movie Green Room that oh, you yeah. watched. Yeah. Oh my god, it's the second movie that A lot of these actors are dead. A very sad... Like, unnecessary death. Oh, yeah. I like that kid. Well, All right. it's okay. Rest in peace. Whatever. So, he's, uh, walks his girlfriend Emma home, and she's worried about all these weird noises coming from the shed in the back of her trailer. And then uh, Maddie, Marty's uh, playing cards with his drunk Uncle Red, who his mom doesn't like drinking around him. I have a question. Yes. What is the difference between a wolf and a werewolf? There are like two different of like men becoming a werewolf. Like there's something with the moon. They're talking about something like that. Well, wolves are real things. Yeah. Werewolves are not. Werewolf. A werewolf is a man becoming a wolf. And it's like a wolf. I don't know. I mean, it's a fake thing. So it, it's people's different perceptions of it. They, they don't like just turn into a wolf like vampires turn into bats. Okay. They're like a bigger. You still have like the body frame of a man. I mean, wolves are smaller, so it's not like it shrinks the body or anything. So he's talking. He's, Uncle Red is drinking and playing cards with them. His mom's getting pissed. Where did he act? Where do I know him from? Your uncle? Gary Busey. I mean, he's been in a million things. Okay. I, really, and I don't others? really want to read all of his credits. No, okay, I'll Google him after. What other uh, screenplays did Stephen King write? 
And he wrote the know? screenplay to Pet Cemetery. And I mean, mostly he's done adaptions of his movies, but there's a lot of movies of his that are not adapted by him. And most, well, I think most of them, there's a, there's a pretty big track record of Stephen King movies, not being that great. But I honestly, I haven't, I only watched Pet Cemetery once and I didn't really like it. And he was, and he's the one who wrote it. So I figured. Can we watch it again? I watch it, I think, like once, at least once. Yeah, we can watch it again. In fact, the DVD is sitting right next to me. Ooh. So, yeah. We need to pick the the last movie of the recaps. I did, and it's a movie. I did told you? you? It's our thing. Oh, okay. Well, I had to fill in one. I thought you were talking about the one that because I substituted one from Monster Club. The movie that I picked, I was getting to that, is the first, and I think, I well. It's the Stephen King's first original screenplay, not based on any of his work before. Okay. It's yeah, movie, that, that's it's actually a movie what called was my question. Sleepwalkers. He did do an original teleplay for the movie um, Storm of the Century, which we tried to watch. I think we watched most of it. Give me what I want and I'll go away. Oh, I like that. that. What happened with thing. it? Why did we stop? I think we fell asleep, but I think we finished <laughs> watching it. We're like two old people. Yeah. But, I mean. I liked it. Okay, in, in December. Yeah. So, we'll, 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 we'll get to that eventually. So, Emma keeps, keeps just showing different parts of the town. And Emma, which is kind of weird because it's Jane narrating. So, how does she really know what, everything happens the way it does? But Emma's dad is drinking and watching wrestling. Good old NWA wrestling. <laughs> and he hears a strange sound that he thinks... I just, before that happened, I just wrote like a weird thing. Silver Bullet is a wheelchair. It's a I just want wheelchair. you to know because when I saw that, I was like, ah, oh, I didn't know that either. But I mean, you know, it takes on two meanings. Yeah, there's like... And his wheelchair is fucking awesome. It's souped up. It's like it's got a I motor. Swear. It takes. He goes to the but gas then, station and gets it, it refilled. <laughs> yes. My scooter doesn't work anymore. They're all very sad. It also doesn't take gas. So, Emma's dad's. He thinks he hears something. Something busting up his pots, because he is a, a typical white trash dad who is into plants and stuff and gardening. And Ooh, very thin for a white. Yeah, well, probably just came back from know. Florida. He probably works outside a lot. Oklahoma also has the sun, yeah. so he he's uh, chasing. He's walking over. He's trying to investigate it. I think he has his, a gun or something. Yeah, and he's he's walking on some wooden planks. Must be over the mud. Like I said, they live in a trailer, so this is not what mud. He fell into I'm, the ground. No, okay, all right. Though, so planks. They're over a pit or something. Planks. I don't know why there's a pit there. That's why I'm saying there might be mud. What's, it's not. It's a pit in the ground that could fit a person, like a gap. You fall into a pit, something uh, like in Mario. If you're going down, and there's tube. a there's a, a lack of earth. It's not a tube. And uh, and eating people flowers. Yeah. Um, no, it's if you're about to jump on that flower, but you fall in the pit in front of it. And so he is, uh, he hears where he fucked up. There's a, a werewolf and it like jumps out of the ground underneath him through the wood and the wood breaks up and impales him with the plank. So pretty In brutal a very death. 80s way. Pretty brutal death. So I thought this movie when originally, I, I think I'm confusing it with Salem's Lot, which was a made for TV movie. I thought this was also made for TV. But one of the sheriffs says fuck. And so that leads me to believe it, it was not. This is a movie that came out in theaters. So there we go. Everybody were talking to themselves. Was talking to themselves. Mm. Did you realize that? I didn't really notice that. Really funny. I talked to myself. Of course. When I don't have anyone to talk to, I always have myself. I don't stop talking. And yeah. No, it was just weird to see that. But yeah. it's it's a weird thing. Like I mean, I don't really notice everybody well, talking to themselves. I did. Okay. Gave us a lot of information. Well, there's people in the bar talking to each other, not themselves. Yeah, but every time, like, like the guy in the beginning, when the movie just started. Yeah. 
He was talking drunk to guy muttering to himself. Yeah, they're all talking to me. I don't see Marty ever talking to himself or Jane ever yeah, talking to herself. Yeah, but you didn't herself. see him alone for that long. Beside the, the he running. He was alone way. lighting fireworks off. We're getting to this. I didn't even take that many notes and I can't even get through them. So, there, Brady is uh, hanging out with Marty. They're in a park, flying kites. Marty must have some extreme upper body strength because he's always climbing trees despite the fact that his legs are useless. And then... But he's moving both of them. No, he's not. No, he's not. He was good with acting that the legs legs. weren't moving. Yeah, he did a good good job. His legs weren't moving in the movie. Oh, he did. Okay. Do you want to just take it from here? No. So his sister picks him up and, uh, and takes him home. And then, of course, the next thing you see is a policeman finding Brady's kite covered in blood. And this is after his dad went looking for him for some reason in the bar. Kind of a weird place to do it. No, he just went there. I was like, is, did everybody so see, see, see No, no, everybody. he went there first. Has anybody seen my son? It wasn't the first place that he went. He, was, he looked already, like, devastated. Like, he was looking everywhere. Yeah, I know. But the first place that we saw him go, because it didn't show him looking any other places. Yeah, but you could guess that it's, like, after a long evening that he was looking for him. And he just went into a bar. Like I'm just going like, by what I can see in the movie. I'm not trying to go through what his day was like before this. We have no idea. Get coffee in the morning. So they Marty go to the funeral, there. and they Marty gets a ride back with Red, and he tells him, he goes, I think it was a werewolf. I mean, my girlfriend heard her weird noises, and then her dad died, and, you know. He's, She's out of town. Yeah, and Red doesn't believe him. He's just a kid. By the way, Silver is the name of, of uh, Bill's bike in It. I owe silver away. away. Yes. Steven, you can do you can be more creative with your uh wheels tools. <laughs> wheels tools? Yeah, that silver bullet, the the bike is silver. Golden. Golden bullet. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I have nothing funny to say about it. So the um a mob starts to form and they want to they want private justice and they start talking about the bar the sheriff is trying to talk them out of this forming a crazy lynch mob and this is how people get killed and then the dad comes in he gives this whole speech about what they did to his son and and so and the sheriff need relents to do something so they don't really ask the sheriff no he relents he's like all right well i'm not going to stop you and they all pour out of the bar and uh, liquored up, get in their that's cars. That's when the, the priest comes the reverend. and tries to call to reverend stop Lowe. them. Reverend Low. And tries to stop them. And Very frantically, right? Frantically trying to stop them all, which Words. nothing. Stop using words that I don't know. Nothing can be done. I can't, like, pit. What? Crutches. Uh, well, we need to make a list of words that you learned on the podcast. <laughs> there are too many. I lost. So. I lost track. That's what I wanted to say. Um, all right, we're already doing it for a while. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're going to the woods. They have fog. It reminded me of Spooky World, where we went on Monday. It was super cool. There's like fog covering till their bellies. Yeah, no, deep, the deep fog. Yeah, yeah. You know, super cool. Shut on less than on their stomachs. Yeah, and then the. The wolf comes and and eat them, like kills them. Three of them. Yeah, one kills. of them had the the guy from the bar had the bed that says, "Yes, the peacemaker," and he got that and he kills him with that. Yes, he just kills some people. Eddie from Reservoir Dogs. And then the next scene, there's a funeral at the church, and when Ed, what's his name, Revlon. Reverend Low. Reverend Low. So he is like in charge, and then he has a, a vision that like everybody turns into wolves, and he wakes up very scared, like, <gasps> and it was a nightmare. And after that, what happens? I don't remember. Uh, people are leaving town. The fireworks are canceled. Marty is very upset about that. No one's 
nothing's going on at the amusement park. And uh, Red then... The best, the uncle of the year gives him a new, very, very fast... Uh, yeah, it looks like a motorcycle. Year. Yeah. But, but it's, it's a wheelchair. super fast, like Harley Davidson. Fast. Yeah, he pretty much thinks that he's going to die and accepts it as he flies away down the straight, down yeah, the straight was street. Creepy, like, ba- like cutting creepy cars. Yeah, it's it's scary. Okay, but that's like, not no, creepy. That's... It's like an exciting thing. He's like cutting in between cars. You know, like the creepy. It's the right a way. little kid on a wheelchair. He shouldn't but be it looks on like the road. He, it looks like he's on a. A three wheeler or something. It's a weird thing. Which it technically is. It is. And then he gives him fireworks. And fireworks when he, he leaves. Is the uncle of the month. But he tells him to the... you only use them around the house. Which that night Marty immediately sneaks out of the middle of the night and goes very far away. Over he sneaks and he climbs. He's on the second floor. He goes out of the window and of course, as a person that shouldn't move his legs, he climbs. <laughs> From the outside, I don't he's, like, got, he's jacked. Corey Haim got yeah. those big muscles. Yeah, very big. Uh, he lights the fireworks off on a wooden bridge, which is which is very irresponsible. Yeah, very dangerous. I wrote it: were fireworks on a wood bridge. Good. I'm glad that you're also safety conscious. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know those things. So the werewolf approaches him, and he has one firework left. The rocket that his uncle told him that he should light last because it's probably the sweetest one. And so his only method of defense is he, he fires it at the werewolf and it shoots him in the eye. He gets stuck. He turns around on his hot rod wheelchair and <laughs> lights up I the night. You know get something? The fuck out of there. I didn't think about it, but I just wrote it now. I said, I just realized that I wrote it. I was a little sleepy on the movie. But I wrote, it's probably the, the uncle somehow or Ed. He's creepy. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. You made two guesses, and one of them was right. So he de- again, Marty pleads his case to Red. He doesn't buy it, and so he tells Jane, and he says, "Listen, I shot someone in the eye. If we can find someone that has a bandage over their eye, then they probably, probably turned as the werewolf." So she goes with bottles, and she looks for that. She person. goes collecting. She goes door to door, knocking, collecting bottles for charity trying to find people and ironically they get delivered to the church and so she sees the reverend bent over and gardening facing away from her she ignores him doesn't look doesn't. at his eye yeah and then she goes to put the bottles away in, and in this garage the bat with a peacemaker yeah because she the spent words so peacemaker much... were on the bartender's bat yeah and i was just saying like she probably spent so much time in the bar to know that bat very well and to make the connection Mm, I don't think so, but maybe she had a... She realized that... It's a small town. Everyone knows each other, so... Anyway, so he comes behind her, scares her, and let her know that she's... Like, it it makes her scared. She goes back and tells Marty that she made made the discovery. So Marty immediately just starts sending him ransom-style notes saying, I know what you are. Which is kind of funny that he's sending them anonymously when... I mean, we have no idea what a werewolf's memory is or whatever, but he definitely got ID'd as the kid that shot the rocket into his eye. And he tries again to explain it to Red. Again, adults don't believe it. I like that Red it. didn't believe him the entire yeah. time. Yeah. Till and the then moment. maybe the, sa- the saddest sequence in, a, in the movie is Marty in the outfield watching kids play baseball and then you just see point of view shots of him just looking at the kids legs and being sad and, and uh yeah and then marty you know, red starts to maybe believe marty because uh marty almost gets run over by the reverend who is in, in man form trying to 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 gun him down marty barely escapes it does some uh some crazy three-point turns even though he keeps crashing his wheelchair so realistic he's still not that great with it but he was able to avoid being killed with the speeding car then he got stuck in a bridge ed is running away and somebody helps him and then he convinces his uncle because there's 
some part of the the color of the car. That's a funny like dialogue when the the uncle is like, "Oh, what what's the what's the color of of his car?" And then the girl like the sister is like, "This exact color." <laughs> yeah, because there's scratches on yeah. the on the side of silver bullet. So now he believes them a little bit. So he makes they decide to make a a bullet. What's the Lone Ranger story? In short words. I mean, the Lone Ranger was a, a, a serial, which is like a weekly TV show about a cowboy that was a you know a ranger is like a Texas policeman on a horse. The, so what's the with the, what's with the silver bullet? So basically, he went to a, a the, gun that's store the excuse to convince the person to make from from like a, from a. Melted down silver chains from both siblings, Marty and Jane. And he asks them to make it into a silver bullet. And so Red starts going along with it. He still doesn't really want to believe it. But the uh, the silversmith is this new age craftsman. And he is he's on board to do it. And then he kinda he kind of reveals that he also sort of believes in vampires at the end. And says, This will work. Is this what you're gonna do it for? And Red's like, no, nah, no, nah, it's just a kid thing, you know. Warning. And then they all fall asleep. The night of the full moon, they're waiting for that. But there's a pretty ingenious thing that Red does to get his parents out of town. He says that he won a vacation on Publishers Clearing House and gives it to them so they leave yeah, for the weekend. Cool. It would be funnier if there was no vacation, they just drove to this hotel and they're like, No, we don't have any reservations for you. Because <laughs> he's just a drunk and just doesn't have any That's money. Funny. Just get him out of the house. But probably he he sprung he does for have something. Money for some reason. I mean he he, he makes them, bought like, fancy parts fancy, for this, yeah. yeah. So the next full moon happens to be on Halloween, and this is the first movie in our recap where the Halloween holiday is involved so far. And then uh, they fall asleep, watch the TV, they wake up. And this is the thing that uh, I don't know if they did this in Israel, probably not the, with the same song, but they were before the 24 hour television channels and a million options on cable, TV would just end for the night at like 3 a.m. And then they would play the national anthem. We don't and then, the there was, anthem. then there was just nothing until we 7 a.m. So is that an Omar Adams song? No. <laughs> No, it was just, I don't know, like a, a sentence from the Bible, I think. Ooh, a siren yeah, just yeah. goes off until 7 a.m. Yeah, they just read it and explain it. When Good Morning Tel Aviv comes on. No, and then that's it. So they fall In asleep. The morning we had like some, it was, like, no, nothing. Some yeah. repeatable, repeatable, repetitive, repeat. <laughs> okay. So Red tells them to go to bed. It's, for, it's 10 minutes to 3 in the morning. I don't care. If it's nobody's coming, and then of course somebody comes. The werewolf doesn't go through the window; it bursts through the wall, and all hell breaks loose. And the silver bullet that Red had ready to put in the gun falls on the floor and down a grate. And so he's wrestling with the wolf while Marty is trying yeah, to put his fa- little hand down there. Like, uh, those little holes for like the the. AC? Yeah, ventilation. Yeah, and he could put his hand into it. Somehow. Yeah. Well, in the 80s, maybe they were a little wider, you know. Kids were always choking on things and getting their body parts stuck and stuff. And so he basically yes. gets it at the very last minute, puts and it in the gun, holding. and he shoots the werewolf in his other eye. The end. We need to watch another movie. No, and then he, <laughs> turned, he turns into a man. And, and then, that's Ed. And then he moved to Twin Peaks. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, basically... And he met Norma. Jane just says, and then, you know, I love my brother, and that's Nadine. that's it. Nadine? What's her name? Nadine. And then... And it was funny because he was wearing the, the eye patch, and Nadine was wearing the eye patch. Wow, it runs in the family. Yeah, I was thinking about it. <laughs> I was like, oh. So that's the movie. It was pretty straightforward. I don't know. I enjoyed it. I, mean, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was fun. I'd like to read Cycle of the Werewolf now. All right, do that. Okay. Not now, in November. All right. Well, maybe I'll do it. I'm in the middle of reading another Stephen King book called Blaze right now. I'm reading Doctor Sleep. Yes. So Stephen King, I'm sorry that I didn't get to see you at the sold out book reading. 
event last you Thursday. Listening to us. Come to visit us. We really wanted to invite you to our wedding, but we didn't do that. Why? We didn't, right? We didn't he wasn't going to come. Well, thank you for listening. Thank you. And tune in. Yeah, tomorrow. It, tomorrow in another movie. Days. Tomorrow we oh my god, tomorrow we have, we have a guest. Wolfman stuff. Tomorrow we have a special I am excited guest. about our guest. I hope we talk about Zumba and words in Spanish. Yeah. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Tomorrow, tomorrow. there is a guest and there are like two accents in that podcast. Yay! Yes. So <laughs> I'm not the minority on that podcast no you, you still are, are. Yeah. you are the minority okay all right all right we love good night you. good night bye